Hello, best friend, and a welcome, welcome. What the fuck is that? Do I, do I live it? What? What is that? Is that an animal? Are you warning us about something? Right before I was starting to film, no noise, no noise. Best friend, listen, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sebastian. What are you trying to tell us? Girl, you know what? Today, I'm in the twilight zone today, best friend. I'm telling you, if I'm a little quirkier than usual, honey, prepare. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sebastian. I spill pop culture tea every day. And today, I am a mess. Today, I am a mess. It is the hottest days of LA ever, right? And, like, I love the heat, girl. I love the heat. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the heat, right? For many years, I didn't have air conditioners. So, you know, I was in Europe, I didn't have air conditioner. In Colombia, I didn't have air conditioner. And then, you know, here, of course, you have air conditioner in America, right? Well, best friend, my air conditioner is not working, and it is burning. It is boiling. Hey, Google, what's the weather right now? Check this out. Right now in West Hollywood, it's 83 degrees and sunny. I mean, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 83 and a low of 57. 83 might not sound too bad, but girl, I feel like I'm boiling and my air is not working. So the air conditioner technician has said that it's not going to be done today. And I was like, okay, girl. And then I, I said to him, hey, do you want a snack or a drink? And, you know, I said it. I went to the roof where he was working. I was, you know, I was like, oh, my God, it's so hot. Imagine him. So I went up to the damn roof and I was like, hey, like, do you want a snack or, or a drink? You know, I can prepare you breakfast. Have you had breakfast? And he was made this face. And I feel like maybe he thought I was hitting on him. Because he said, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. And I'm like, oh, wait. So I went down the stairs and I was like, hmm. And then he was super weird with me the whole time. So I was like, does this man think that I was trying to seduce him, bitch? I can't even, I can barely make a sentence, sir. I can barely make a sentence for me to try to seduce you. If I was trying to seduce you, girl, I would pop that booty out in the roof, honey. But I was not popping no booty, bitch. I was trying to see if you wanted something to drink. Anyways, girl, what a long ass intro. I'm so sorry, bitch. If you are still here, thank you so much for caring, girl. Because I'm all over the place. Um, Best friend. We all right, best friend. So we got to talk about Nepo babies, okay? The... Kardashian Jenners of the world, the Hailey Biebers of the world. We got to talk about Nepo babies today because there is a very serious topic about this. And a lot of people have a lot of different thoughts about, about Nepo babies. And for example, one of the biggest things that, you know, people talk about is like Kendall Jenner's modeling career that had it not been for, you know, the name Kardashian Jenner, you know, she wouldn't be as famous. Neither would any of the Kardashians, basically. You know, Kylie Jenner with her lip kits, makeup brand, blah, blah, blah. Hailey Bieber, blah, 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 right? So one thing that I, I do have to say about, like, Nebo Babies is, you know, I think that it's the way that you, the way that you go about it, right? It's not your fault that you're born into this rich family. It's not your fault that you're born into, 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 into fame, into money, into connections, Right? It's how you go about it. So for example, uh, one of the best examples that I can ever come up with is Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton, you know, born a freaking Hilton, right? Like you can't get more like, you know, you, you are literally, you know, born in, in luxury, right? Of course, amazing. Paris Hilton could have literally decided to chill her whole life, you know, go and 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 vacation in St. Bards and then go here and then stay here and not do a damn thing. With her inheritance, I'm sure, you know, I don't like to count people's monies, but I'm sure she could have, you know, not done anything. But Paris Hilton has been working since, like, for now over like 20 years or so, right? You know, Paris Hilton, you know, The Simple Life, I believe, came out in like, hey, Google, when did The Simple Life came come out? Came out, come out, you know, bitch. The air date of the first episode of The Simple Life was December 2nd, 2003. 2003. Okay, December 2nd, 2003. That's Britney Spears' birthday. 2003. So that is 21 years ago, right? 2003 to 2013. Yes, 21 years ago. Paris Hilton has not stopped working for 21 years, bitch, okay? Since The Simple Life aired, 
Paris Hilton has been grind after grind. I mean, she has like, you know, hey Google, how many perfumes does Paris Hilton have? She has like 300 or something like that. Hey Google, how many perfumes does Paris Hilton have? Sorry, I didn't understand. <laughs> I didn't understand either. I did not understand either, girl. Um, Paris Hilton has like, hang on, let me let me let me just tell you how many perfumes. Paris Hilton perfumes. Um, she has how many? How many? Oh lordy. Okay, so it says here that she okay she has thirty different perfumes. Okay. Um, according to Google, I, I'm pretty sure it's a lot more. I think it's a lot more. Um, as of 2022, she had 30, okay? 30 perfumes is like crazy, right? Perfumes, stores, DJ. She's the biggest, like, big, most famous female DJ in the whole world. You know, reality shows, um, entrepreneurship, clubs. I mean, she's done it all, right? I'm sure I'm missing 5,000 other things. Music, acting, you know, uh, just everything. So I feel like I love giving her as an example because not only does she work hard for her fame and her money, but she she's also a huge advocate for, you know, for everything that she went through, you know, at boarding school. She sticks up for people. She gives the voiceless a voice and 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 she's using her power her fame her wealth for good right and then you 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 look at other people who who are you know nepo babies and you think to yourselves like are they really doing something with their with their with their gift you know it is a gift to be born in money in connections and luxury right so Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner, you know, I've never, and I I would, you know, I'm hoping to be wrong about this, but I've never heard, need, you know, Courtney, Chloe, Kendall, or Kylie, I've never heard of them wanting to help a certain cause. I've never heard of them speaking up for a certain cause. I've never heard of them you know, using their voice to bring awareness to, to certain things. I may be wrong, and I'm that's why I'm saying I'm hopeful to be wrong. I haven't heard that for Hailey Bieber either. You know, there there are things that I feel like when you are born into luxury and money, the best thing you can do so you are not titled a Nepo baby in a negative term is to use all of the beautiful blessings and gifts that you have and make it into something amazing, right? Because imagine, you know, using your voice and changing laws like Paris Hilton is, you know, and doing things that, that are going to change the world and change people's lives and not just shove a product down people's throats like a lot of these people are doing. So I believe that when people are pointing out at Nepo Babies, you know, it's like, what are you doing with that blessing? What are you doing with that connection? Are you working hard? If you want to be an actor just because your parents are actors, are you taking classes? Are you, you know, are you going to auditions? Like, I know that they have the door slightly open, you know, because of their last names or, or wealth or, or parents or whatever. But it's it's how you open the door and how you 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 go through things to make it last. Do you know what I mean? Because you got to make things last. Just because you have the door slightly open does not mean that it's going to stay open, right? And, you know, again, love using Paris Hilton as an example, but she's been in the game for 23 years and she's done everything. Makeup, clothing, perfumes, music, reality show, DJing, movies, you know, you name it, she's done it. And then you you look at, you know, sorry to bring them up, but you look at, you know, I, I don't put Kim in this because at least Kim is doing something, you know, for prison sentence and all that. Um, but you look at a lot of these other people and all you see is promoting brands, promoting their new products, you know, promoting and showing off their blessed life. And I do believe that when you are born into money, when you are born into these things, you have a responsibility to use it for good. You don't have to, but if you, if you wanted to make a difference, you can. Do you know what I mean? So that that that's sort of that's sort of like what I think is it's okay to be born an Apple baby, 
but it's how you use it, how you use your, your voice, your connection, your money, how you use it to, to, to create not only a bigger life for you, but to help people, you know, around the world. Do you know what I mean? So, and I, I don't want to be mean. I just feel like if I were born into money and if I were born into these huge blessings, like I, I would, I know in my heart that I wouldn't be okay just like sitting around and then, you know, having an opportunity to put my name on a product and then just shove it down people's throats. You have a connection because I believe God, the universe wants to use your voice to something because you have a voice, you have a platform, you have a gift of money, of luxury that you can put into a good cause. So I think that's why when people think about Paris Hilton, they think, yes, she's a Hilton, but damn it, she's a hard worker. She has incredible you know, work ethic. If you watch her shows, if you watch her, her interviews, she knows exactly what she's doing. She knows exactly how she's doing it. And when she has a product, of course she does promotion for the product, but here you are again, her going to Jamaica, helping seven boys who were allegedly abused in a boarding school. She doesn't, she doesn't take her life for granted. And I think that other people should really learn from from Paris Hilton because I do believe that she is like the epitome of born into luxury, but staying in luxury, using your voice for good and 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 creating a separate fame and fortune for yourself. So I don't know, best friend. What do you guys think about this? Like I always I always use Kendall Jenner also as an example because you know she wanted to model as a passion and and you know she she knew that's what she wanted to do. She's the highest paid model in the world but a lot of people don't believe she deserves to be. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. What would you do if you were born into a you know wealthy and, and rich, famous family? I just feel like, look, don't, 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 you know, don't misuse your blessings because one day they won't be blessings and there'll be things that you miss or things that you want to happen again into your life. So when you have them, appreciate them and use them for good. But anyways, girl, what do we think? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit that follow. This video was very all over the place and I apologize, best friend. But um, if I'm in heat, oh, we're gonna have issues, boo-boo, okay? Um, I hope the technician comes back because I really was not flirting with him. I just really wanted to make him my famous egg sandwich and 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 give him something cold to drink because it's really cold, it's really hot. But anyways, girl, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so sorry for this messy ass video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you all so much. Bye.